Is anyone there? Is Dr. Jew in? Coming, coming. Who is it? What are you yelling for? Where has old Bai gone again? Oh, it's you. Is your mother feeling any better? Dr. Jew has been unwell recently, so I am standing in for him to see patients. Thanks to Dr. Jew's blessing. She's safe and sound now. But what about you? You look so young, yet you're able to stand in for Dr. Jew. There must be something special about you, right? Oh, I definitely have my specialties. Even if your brain is sick, I can cure it for you. Who has a sick brain? How dare you? Hanye, do not be disrespectful. Yes, your highness. <laughs> Dr. Little Isatis, I've caught a bit of a cold and I'm not feeling well. I wonder, do you have an effective remedy, Dr. Isatis? I do. Guaranteed to cure on consumption. Just wait a moment. My exclusive secret formula. The cold spirit. One bowl and you'll see immediate results. Pay first, then drink the medicine. How much for this bowl? Fifty tails. Fifty tails? But your sign clearly says five cent per bowl. Why is it fifty tails for us? If you want to drink, drink. If not, I'll see you out. No worries. I will examine you. I presume this is the famous Dr. Ju. Why even ask for an examination? He's already willing to pay 50 tails for my bath, the cold spirit. From now on, only I can drink your bath water. This medicine, the effects are not stable. It might jeopardize the health of a lord. Better not to drink it. Then I'll trouble Dr. Ju to treat me. How is it? It should be a decoction made from Milan, also known as Isatis root. The usual decoction made from Isatis root wouldn't be this potent, nor would it be colorless and tasteless like this. This Isatis root must be no ordinary item. It could be the work of a herb spirit? Based on the decoction alone, it's hard to draw a conclusion, but herb spirits have a strong scent. If I could meet one, I would know with just a sniff. Your Highness. Lord Juming is outside requesting an audience. Let him in. Yes. Lord Juming. What brings you here? So late at night? When I first joined the Supreme Clarity Division, we agreed that once I took off the black robe, I could return to being Aju, the herbalist. Now that I'm unwell, and the herb hall's affairs are numerous, I can no longer be in two places at once. So I ask Prince Ye to honor your promise and allow me to lay down my robe and return to medicine. The thing is, the greater one's abilities, the greater the responsibilities. Right now, with spirits running wild, the Supreme Clarity Division can't afford to lose you. Besides, I've heard that this little Isatis physician has quite the medical skills. Hasn't she taken some worries off your shoulders? 
She's just a country girl. Where would she get any medical skills from? I only took her in out of pity. For a few days. I would have forgotten about it if you hadn't come. Lately, there's a wolf spirit causing trouble. This spirit is arrogant and skilled in magic. I've sent Han Ye to capture it several times to no avail. This wolf spirit will set fires in the Lantern Street Market and rob amidst the chaos. If you can capture this spirit this time, I will allow you to lay down your robe and return to medicine. festival is exceptionally lively. It's the second biggest festival after New Year's Eve. It truly lives up to its reputation. The Sky Lanterns go up at 11 p.m. Don't be late. I heard that if two people release a lantern together, they can stay together forever. Hurry, let's go. When Ajo gets here, I want to go release lanterns with him too. Sister Isaitis. Ninga, you're here selling sky lanterns too. Yep. Sister Isaitis, take a look at my lanterns. Come. Sister Isaitis, why didn't Dr. Jill come with you? He's out on a call. He'll be here soon. I came over first to wait for him. We'll just need him to write something on it when he arrives. Ming. Why isn't Aju here yet? Could he have run into some danger? Ming. Lord, let's go back and claim our reward. Starting today, I and the Supreme Clarity Division will have no more ties. Strange. Could it be that I was mistaken? Most upon us. Let's hurry and release the lanterns. All right. Prince, alchemist, did you find anything unusual? It might be that I was mistaken. I am incompetent. Please punish me, Prince. Little Isatis, have you thought about what wish to make? I want to wish for you to be safe and sound, not just in this life, but for all eternity. Thank you. 
When you didn't show up earlier, I was worried you might have been in danger. This is a unity sachet I made by hand. Keep it with you at all times. As if I am with you every day. All right. This way your scent won't be detected by the Supreme Clarity Division. Your safety is my greatest wish. Through life and death, a pledge profound. With thee, my vows are spoken. To hold thy hand through each lifetime, together till we're old and gray. Lucky for me, I still have a jar of wine tucked away. Everyone's gone to release Sky Lanterns. In the past, I had the company of Dr. Jew. But now he has Mrs. Sadis. Leaving me a lonely widower. Why have you come back by yourself, shopkeeper? Just walked a short while and you're already tired. Who is he talking to? I'm just come of age. There were so many people by the river just now, I got stepped on quite a few times. Really, there's no dealing with you, you little herb spirit. Come on up. Let's go. It seems you've gained some weight since we first met. Not at all. You're talking nonsense. It's good to be a bit heavier. It's a sign of fortune. <laughs> Dreams. I must be dreaming. <laughs> Back then, trying to get an appointment with Dr. Ju was impossible. But now, things are better. This back pain of mine has been bothering me for half a year. What's the deal with this little Asadis physician? Because of her, Dr. Ju can't even see me for treatment. Next, please. Hold on. This is for our lady physician. Next. Come on, give me your hand. Miss, this month you seem to have an imbalance of women energy. Here. Miss Little Asada seems so smart and charming. Why does she have to be a spirit? By fetch the medicine? I've always said the shopkeeper isn't interested in women. It must be that cunning spirit who has bewitched him. This won't do. I must report this to the Supreme Clarity Division immediately. Bye. Bye. Fetch the medicine. Come with me. In all things, one should not overexert oneself. All right.
I don't. Can we go out and have fun after we close the shop? Sure. What would you two like to eat? Take a look. What do you feel like eating? Let's do this. Bring me one of everything. On the menu. All righty, one of everything it is. That's a lot. What if we can't finish it all? Plus, it seems like a waste of money. No worries. Whatever you can't finish, I'll eat. Your dishes. Here you go. Please enjoy your meal. This looks good. Have you noticed that old Bai is acting strange today? He didn't even come out to eat with us. Bai is usually very perceptive. Maybe he didn't want to disturb us. All right, then let's pack up some of this food for him later. This is delicious. You should try one too. Taste this. Try this one. It's good. <sighs> hey, Huang. Let me ask you. Do you think they could possibly have some sort of cross-species true love? If I go report them, wouldn't I be ruining their relationship? But our shopkeeper has always steered clear of women, and yet he's completely under the spell of a spirit. Could they possibly have some unusual fetish? No, no. I can't watch the shopkeeper jump into a pit of fire. What would you know? You're just a chicken about to be cooked. You don't understand these things. Thank you for your hard work. Your Highness, should we take action now? We still haven't confirmed if she is a spirit. Let's not act rashly. All right. Besides, Juming is not someone who is unreasonable. Order someone to step up patrols. See if we can pick up any clues. Understood. Here you go. Look at this. Look at this. Hurry up. Miss, take a look at our jewelry. Our jewelry here is all one of a kind. Take a look. These are all the latest designs.
Ever since we came to the human realm, I found myself missing the life back in the mountains. And here I was wondering why you insisted on going up the mountain to gather herbs with me at the crack of dawn. Turns out you're homesick. Actually, it's for this... we descended the mountain, I haven't had the chance to drink the morning dew from the mountains. I really miss it. You like drinking morning dew? Of course. This daylight and morning dew are the most precious nutrients for us herbs. After becoming an adult, I just can't seem to wake up early anymore, and it's been so long since I last had it. I'm gonna check over there. The morning dew. Stand guard outside. Yes. Sir, sir. Supreme Clarity Division, routine inspection. Sir, all righty. Has there been anything unusual in the shop recently? No, no unusual occurrences. Nothing found? No spirits? No. No, no. No spirits found. Oh, by the way, where did the immortal physician go? My mother is ill, and I was hoping to get some medicine from him. The immortal physician. They went early in the morning to the northest mountain to gather herbs. They haven't returned yet. They? I'm waiting too. Go slower. Are you tired? Come on up. I saw with my own eyes. That woman is indeed a spirit, no doubt. Unfortunately, Lord Juming took an arrow for that woman, which is why I failed to capture her. You're saying you wounded Juming? Yes, Lord Juming is too familiar with the Supreme Clarity Division's tactics. He sensed something was off before we even made a move. Later, he even helped the spirit escape. Your Highness, please calm your anger. I will continue to have people closely watch Herb Hall. We can only act once we lure Lord Juming away. Is Juming a spirit? Then why did you injure him? Useless. How is his injury? He... The arrow was not poisoned. It shouldn't be life-threatening. 